My name is Odile Deck, and I am an architect, but not only an architect, because um, I am also an urban planner, a designer, artist, and also a teacher, because uh, I'm, I'm teaching since more than 30 years now. I didn't have any reference to that. I just wanted to do something with art when I was a teenager. And I had a, a teacher when I was a teenager who was very involved in that. And uh, we, we were a group of uh, young uh, girls who were uh, having some particular uh, uh, lecture by him and his wife about uh, all the different fields of, in art, including architecture. And then, uh, because I was living in Provence, not in Paris, I was thinking that um, I was not thinking about architecture because for me it was, I heard only about men and I wanted to do something uh, for girls uh, as decorative art uh, and going to the school in Paris of the Muse uh, um, Ecole des Arts Décoratifs. But my parents didn't want that I come to Paris because I was not so an easy child. And they asked me to go in another city where my grandparents were there and they could have taken, taken care of me. So I went there and I started to study history of art. And when I was uh, studying in history of art in the university for, the for one year, I met some students of the School of Architecture who were there. And I went, I went there and I discovered that this is really what I want to do. And, uh, and uh, they, told, they, they proved me that I could do it because uh, there were some young girls, uh, so young women doing studying architecture at this time. And uh, so there were an exam, so I applied for the exam, I succeeded the exam, and then I came back to my family to say that uh, I will now study architecture, which was, the reaction was a bit strange because my father said this is not a profession for women, and uh, an invited, uh, an architect that he knew, and um, explaining me that why it's not for women, but finally, okay, maybe I've read the, read the story many times, but it's really something like um, telling me that, uh, asking me why I wanted to do that, and I, I answered that I wanted to do a de design the theater, I never did it, but I, do, I didn't know why. I don't know why I answered that, and then he said, oh, it's very complicated. And, um, but he was asking, telling my parents immediately after that it's very good that now young women could uh, study architecture because they are more practical and more uh, pragmatic than men and they could be very important in, the, in their office. Mm. Oh, and I was, I was very shocked. <laughs> but thanks to that, I was thinking, okay, so they can recognize me that I'm practical and pragmatic, but I will not apply that only in kitchen, doing the kitchen and cupboard, but doing everything. <laughs> yes, it was a challenge. I wanted to escape this city for a very long time because, I, as I said before, I was not a very easy child and I was, uh, I didn't want to stay living there. I wanted to, ex to go out, to go somewhere else. And, uh, but I was young and this is why maybe they didn't want that I come to Paris because they were thinking that I will be, I don't know what, <laughs> and, uh, or they didn't know what. So they sent me to another city where my grandparents were living and where there are universities. And, and then when I became uh, able to manage myself, that means after my two first year of architecture, I said that I go to Paris and I said to my parents bye bye. And uh, sustaining by myself, living by myself and yes, and continuing my study in architecture in Paris. I'm here because this is a big city and I wanted to live in a big city. I wanted to live in some in a place where I can uh, be connected uh, with people and having many many proposals in that city, and uh, this was not like that in my little city when I was born. But um, and at the same time that you are you could be independent and nobody care about you. It was very important for me to be independent and free. Uh, I do, I can't say that I had mentor because in my school. <laughs> You know, when I started to study architecture, it was the beginning of uh, middle, between the beginning and the middle of the 60s, 70s. And at this time, because of the specific condition in Paris and in France, the Beaux-Arts has been destroyed because of 68. So they have, they have built new schools, uh, invented new schools in France. And uh, in the place where I was, uh, everybody was experimenting new pedagogy. And for example, my two first years in, uh, in Rennes, in Brittany, in the school where I started, they, we were not, never designing a project. 
We were always doing only uh, photos, video, going outside on the city, the, taking notes, uh, having, uh, doing some uh, uh, ex corporal body expression, uh, some expressing, feeling uh, ourselves in the space in a way. Mm -hmm. But I never did any project in the first two years. Mm -hmm. And so this is why at the end I was thinking, my God, this is maybe not that. So I have to, and I decided, and I wanted to go to Paris, so I went to Paris. I need the school that I choose because at this time we were, we were seven schools in architecture in Paris. So I choose one when it was quite easy to enter in the third year without having studied anything. But uh, the school that I choose, we were on strike all the time. Mm -hmm. So this is why at the end I always say that uh, I was, my studies were quite nothing and I am a kind of autodidact. Mm -hmm. During, during my studies, I had to survive. I had to pay my own school, my, my own life, I had to, to, maintain, to sustain my, maintain myself. So I worked. And I worked um, with um, an architect who was not doing architecture, who was doing a kind of writing theory of architecture. And since three years and a half, I was working with him, reading a lot studying the books, meeting some other architects who were coming because, because he was quite famous at this time and a lot of architects from, from abroad were coming to, when they were in Paris, they were coming to visit him, to discuss with him because he was asking them many things about uh, theory. And um, thanks to that, I met many, many people passing in the, in the office where I was and uh, because I was the only one with him. And uh, we wrote together, and uh, we were, and I, I had to read some historical books to help him and to do that. So I did a kind of my, my own studies thanks to that. So it was a kind of, uh, yes, knowledge that I, I got from that. And, um, but it was not enough for me to survive, and I had to do, I was keeping also being uh, babysitting, and I was also doing interior design for myself because I started when I was. Uh, I started because I met some people, my doctor, some other friends of my doctor, etc., who asked me to design something for them, a library, a desk, etc. Mm -hmm. So I did that kind of job for during my studies. So I was really very busy having my studies, which were not very studies, uh, working with this architect and uh, doing my own job. So it was a very, it was really intense. And I did not have time to travel. I didn't travel so much, not at all. I did not have money for doing that. And uh, this is why you, uh, you explained to me that maybe you have met some people. I did not have time. I was working. I always have worked my, all my life by myself. And, the, the and this, But also you have to know that as, as soon as I, f I finished my school, I never worked for an architect. I never worked in an architectural office. I always worked for myself. So I didn't know how the others were doing, how they were working. I invented my own way of doing, experimenting, trying, and step by step. It was very slow, slow and long, mm -hmm. but it was inventing my own way of doing. So I don't know how the others are doing. It was a, it was a process a, a, that uh, undergoing. It was really something which is being step by step, and it was not very... It was not one second I was doing a big military project and the second after a big project. It was the project were growing by, during my time, during the time. For the first 10 years of my, uh, after my studied, studies, I did a, a small project, houses, uh, uh, in, uh, re renovation of, uh, of offices, uh, something like that. And, um, and at the same time, because uh, at my time, at this time, in the 70s, all the students were a lot involved in politics and social, and we were all doing urban studies. So some were doing urban studies during their studies, and some were, were doing urban studies after their studies. And I did, after my studies, one year, in the Institut d'études politiques in Paris. And this is thanks to that, I succeeded to find work in urban studies for transformation of uh, rural little village or territories or little cities uh, in the region from where I was and um, and it, it helps me to to sustain my, my office and at the same time it was a um, different kind of project than building but at the same time I started to, to, to build little objects as I said so one by one like that the story became uh, until um, 80 no no, no, it's, it's really important that at the same time, which, because this is very particular in France, 
at the same time, at the end of the 70s, just after my diploma, maybe two years later, they started to they send a kind of a, um, a, um, a call for, for young architects to be able to go in some countries to, to, to study how the public buildings were built and how they were decided because the French government thought that it was, they discovered that there were a lot big generation of young architects with no work. And they couldn't accept, access, uh, access to the public buildings because it was all organized with a list and it was closed. So they decided that we have to open it, but how the other countries are doing that? So I applied for this uh, kind of in, uh, scholarship in a way because it was not scholar. And I, I received one to go to Germany. And I went to Germany with two other uh, young architects as, as me. And we discovered the um, system of competition in Germany. And we brought that to France and we explained that the system of competition that the Germans were already do doing at this time. And it's how they started to think how to do competition in France. So it was myself and two other young architects. And I, I, I was giving lecture about that. I was writing articles about that at the, at the, really at the beginning of the 80s. And then they decided to, to do a kind of ob uh, um, obligation for public buildings to build uh, with competition and to invite young people, young architects. And thanks to that, I started to do competition maybe five years after my studies, at the end of my, my diploma. Or maybe because it was, we, f we found at this time competition exclusively for young architects or where they have to take on minimum one or two young architects. So it was very really generous in a way. Mm -hmm. So I'm part of this generation who have succeeded to access the public building thanks to the competition when they started in France. And because I discovered that in Germany. And, um, and step by step, I came to the bigger one like that. So it was, it's a very kind of accumulation of different things. It's more complicated, I think, when you are a young architect. You have to have some relations to know how to enter some competition, etc. But um, it's really, the competition system is still continuing. It's more, more um, selective in a way. It's, it's not as open mind and as open that it was at this time. So a lot of young architects are, are complaining since more than 10 years, 15 years maybe. And uh, because it's not as open as for us, for us it was. And, um, but I don't know, and, but some succeed to do. And it's not, I know that it's not easy. And sometimes this is just like that because you, you want something and you were not thinking this, this is a chance uh, uh, to do it. And um, even for me, which is strange that I don't do competition for public building anymore. <laughs> because I'm because you know that in France the first step is to be selected and since maybe more than 10 years I'm never selected to do competition in France so this is a bit bizarre for me but okay this is like that this is last life uh, maybe I'm too young I'm too old now I don't know I'm not in the mood of the of the system today <laughs> and um, so this is um, so this is why um, we I, I was pa I'm part of a generation where we had the luck and we are lucky to find this system. And because thanks to that, we were known, we have, we had, and at the same time, they were inventing in France something that they call the album de la jeune architecture, which is a kind of, uh, to, to push and to present the young architects to the, everybody. So they, it was a kind of, again, application. You are selected or not, and every year they were choosing 10 public doing a publication about, about them and we have to work on the little booklets and they were sending the booklets in all, all the public institutions, all the public cities everywhere. So the, and those when they wanted to search for a young architect, they discovered that through the booklets. Mm -hmm. And I had mine in 86, you know. At the beginning, when I, we started in, when I started in the 80s, it was totally open. Nobody knew how to confront a young architect and we were very wanted to do, so we were very strong. And, um, but step by step, the system and the organization and the bureaucracy has organized itself. And now this is more complex and more complicated. And this is so complicated. And um, really, really, this is very, very complicated, even for the application of the building permits, for the, for the regulation about the labels, uh, the, the ecolo ecological labels, all of that. You have to manage so many things today that it's really, really complex. And, um, and it's tiring sometimes. We are, okay, why do we have to do that? And, this, and at the beginning, again, we were lucky enough that the regulation 
were not very totally defined in a way. So you could find some places to uh, enter and to snack inside to, to find your own way, even if it was not totally regular, but you could discuss and negotiate to do it. Today it's impossible. So everything is strict. It has to be very well write, wrote, uh, writing and written, and it has to be defined pre uh, before. And so this is complicated. And, but, and, but in the beginning of the 90s, so that means 10 years after my, uh, my diploma, I, I won the competition for the Banque Populaire de l'Ouest in Rennes. We made, and I won awards immediately with this building more than 10 awards, in two, three years, 10 awards. And so that means publication internationally and, uh, and known, being known through this building. And uh, at the same time, I was really, really connected to um, the London scene because I was going there first for the music in the 70s and 80s, and secondly, to visit the transformation of London in, because it's the time of the of when London was transforming with the high tech, with all of that, etc. So I was visiting that every time. So I was going there for concert and for architecture. And, um, and thanks to that, I, I knew people. That I discovered people there and I met them. And uh, I, part I, take, I took part in, uh, thanks after the BPO, I took part in some symposium with uh, AD at this time and uh, known and met uh, all the architects from all over the world in that part, in that same time. So I was young and it, I, I met them. And um, I remember some symposium where we were 30 or 40 architects invited, and I was, maybe we were two women. So it, we were very strong, we were young, and <laughs> I was with only men, and all these big figures of the time. And, um, but this is, uh, it helps me to be published and to be diffused in all over the world. And I started after that to give lectures and I started to travel the world for giving lectures and teaching sometimes, etc. So it's a kind of a group of opportunities that I took to, to, to work outside and to work abroad because there is, a, there is a, a kind of a sentence that every country has and every, no, no people say that outside the, the grass is always greener than in your country. And I was, think, I was thinking, because I was a young woman, because, uh, and very young, I was thinking that maybe it will help me to be recognized outside to come back in France and to be, to be known after that. But I did so much outside that at the end the French were really, well, what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you? So, but finally, okay, it's fine. It's fine and it's really, and going internationally without money, without being paid, but doing it because I thought that it was very important. So I did a lot. I was really, as I said from the beginning, I was really one, willing to do something. Mm. Yeah. And right now, what are you working on? Any special project that we could want to... Um, the last project that I deliver is a tower in Barcelona. I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. You have been there? Yeah. Yeah. Are you, have you been in the, in the restaurant? Uh, no, I no? only like uh, around the tower. Again. Okay. And uh, it took me, uh, because we, I won this competition in 15, and it has been delivered now because of the COVID, because of the transformation of the city and with, uh, with, um, with a, a new party winning the... So we it took long to have the building permit and then the COVID and... Okay, so now it's finished. And I'm very glad and very, very happy about the quality of this building. And um, because in that building, I did not only the architecture, but also all the design, all the products, everything because I wanted to, to, more, to show that I'm not just an architect for the facade, I'm an architect for everything. I did the gardening, I did the, the, the design, the entire design, I did everything. I wanted to do that. Because I want, for me, architecture is not just doing an object, the envelope of an object, but it's really going to the very details of everything, including the door handles. And um, so I like to play with all the scales. And for me, this is really my way of thinking. So I. I, I Always, I've tried since many years to add the furniture, to do sometimes furniture. But sometimes it's not possible because in public buildings they don't want, and it's it's complicated all the time. But I started with the macro, the macro museum in Rome because they asked me to do some furniture. I said, "Oh yes, I will do." Because in Italy it was natural for architect in a way to do design because the men. The very well-known designers from Italy from the 60s and the 70s were architects, so it's normal that architecture and design is totally connected. And um, 
this is why they asked me if I wanted to develop the furniture too. So I started to do that and then I continue now more and more. And, um, and it's really interesting for me. I love that. And um, so I'm, if this is, uh, so at the moment we have, we just finished that. We are doing competition that I can't speak about. We are doing, developing a um, transformation of an old build, uh, an old warehouse in an uh, offices building in Paris. And uh, so we are at the development of the project for the executive part of the project now. And maybe the site will be, will be uh, at the end of the year. And uh, we are um, working in Madagascar, in the island of Madagascar, because I met some people and I became friends of them and, I, and they were really involved uh, asking me to do some project. So at the moment I'm doing three projects in Madagascar. I'm doing a, a sort of art center in the city. And I'm developing two, two big sites for a, a, like an extension of the city, like a new area for having uh, habitation. And this is, um, so because of the COVID, since I tried to go there since one year and a half, and I was supposed to go there last two weeks, but because of the cyclone, I couldn't go. So now I, I'm sure, I, I hope that I go in, uh, in April because I didn't visit my site. This is strange, but we developed the project, we started the project, and we are exchanging with them. They send me photos, they're sending survey of the site, etc. Because for me, even if many architects now are working like that, and they like to do that, for me, it's really important to go on the site. Whatever the size of the project, whatever it is in the world, I go on the site myself to feel, and to meet the people, to meet the people, and to understand the place. And for that, I didn't. I went before in Madagascar, so I know a little bit, but not enough. And this is, uh, and I like the fact to work with not uh, not only for rich people, but also for quite poor people. Mm -hmm. And I love to do that also. Mm -hmm. And look, and working with uh, natural product uh, like the um, working with um, how can you you call that with the the mud, working with some wood and something, which is I have to reinvent myself to do that. And I love that. Mm -hmm. I started to teach in the beginning of the nineties. Um, when uh, Paul Virilio, maybe you heard about him, Paul Virilio, asked me to come to give a lecture first in the school uh, in Paris, uh, which is a private school, they call special architecture, and then to teach uh, at the school and to teach some part with him and uh, by myself too. And I, I did, I started so teaching at the beginning of the 90s. And um, I was teaching in that school for 15 years. And at the same time, I was teaching sometimes in Bartlett, sometimes in, uh, and I did workshop in LA. I did, uh, I was teaching in Colombia. I was teaching in, in uh, Germany, in Austria, everywhere. And um, as I was, uh, and I was also teaching in Paris. And then I applied to become the director of the school where I was teaching. And I became director for five years. And at the end, um, because I changed a lot, because Thanks to the, my travel that I did for lecture all over the world, I was thinking that we have to change a little bit the pedagogy, we have to change the school, we have to make that evolving, etc. So I, I did it when I was directing this school. And it was maybe too much for the former teachers. And they, were, they started to be very complicated and very difficult. So I resigned. And as soon as I resigned, I decided to create a new school. And with some friends, and at the end I became alone because it was too much for them. And um, it was two years of working to find the place and to discuss with the place, with the people, the city of the uh, people from the city, and um, to be able to find a bit of money to be to do it because I did not have money to f to, f to do a project, to do a school, and it, it needs money to have a school. So finally, I didn't find money, but I just uh, rent a, bought a place in the confluence with the agreement of the mayor, without money and developing the project with my office without money. And at the end, going to a developer and telling him, can you buy that project? Help me to build it. And you give me money because I, I sell you the project. And he did it. And thanks to this money, I started the school. So it was really developing a business. And, um, and then the first students were six, and then we grow very slowly. And uh, in 2019, we decided to move back to Paris because it was we we, we were in a fantastic building, done ex precisely for the school, and everybody was oh what a school etc. But uh, it was very at the end too expensive. We were not enough. It was complicated to bring 
coming uh, architects coming from abroad because they were coming to Paris but going after that to Lyon complicated so I was thinking okay the best place is to be back in Paris and we went back to Paris and the, now the school is growing since I decided to do my school that means in 2012-13 I'm saying all over the world that we have to change that we have to change the pedagogy we have to change the way and especially from the beginning of the 20th, 21st century because now we when you know I, I look at the, at the people who are applying for the, the students are applying for the school and since four years, they are from 2000, 2001. When I saw the first one applying for, born in 2000, I said, wow, and now 2004. That means that this young student, what, what, is, the pro, what is the relation to the, from the, to the 20th century? They don't have relation to the 20th century. They, are, they have to be more concerned by the 21st. That means that to go further, to go to watch or to look in front of them in a prospective way to be able to think this new century, not to think back. And, uh, and when I speak, I say that usually, I say this is not only speaking about the 20th century, but sometimes in some schools, it's like in the 19th century. Mm -hmm. So, phew, my God, for them, it's two, it's two centuries before. This is not possible. Mm -hmm. And this is why we, I decided to change, and I study, I look at different kind of schools, and, I, and at the end of the process of thinking about how to, to do this school, I, was, I declare that I'm doing the Montessori School of Architecture <laughs> because Montessori was a very open mind, very, that students uh, learn by themselves and uh, do it. So we do that. And um, that means that every semester now the students are, and those students are autonomous. They have the key of uh, the school and they come when they want, but when the teacher is there, they have to come when there is a teacher. But they have the key, they can come in the night, they can come in the, in the day, they can come uh, during the weekend, I'm sure that because the school is just below under that, if you want, we will go. Mm -hmm. And I have one of the, the students here in, my, in the office at the moment, but uh, you can discuss with him. So this is really a particular school and it's really a place where even the, t the architects who are coming for teaching say, we have to change our mind when we come, uh, come in your school, because we are not there to, to tell them something, but to understand how, what do they want and to understand what they, how they win, they, what, do, what do they need to provide them something which is individual. And this is really individ an individual course in a way. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't have, um, we have just evaluation at the end of the semester, twice in the semester we have evaluation. So that means that we tell them, okay, we meet one of them and we tell him, uh, 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 you know, you, you don't, you are not so, um, enough in the school, you have to work there because there is a desk for you. You have to be there and to exchange and to, to collaborate with the others and to help and the others will help you and they will uh, taught you, etc. And uh, you will learn through that process and that, uh, after that you have to meet the teachers sometimes when they come, even if they are not teacher. And, uh, and we, or sometimes we say to tell them, okay, this is fine, you continue, go, uh, go ahead. And there is no note. There is just a, you continue, take care, or this one you fail. Mm -hmm. That's it. And um, they never do the same. If they have to do more for finishing the first cycle, they just have to do another semester. But this is not doub doubling in a way. This is not repeating. This is doing another one, which is different. So they don't feel that we are aggressing them, etc. They feel that, uh, okay, they just grow. Mm -hmm. And when they grow, and at the end they do their diploma, and, as, um, and I know that now in schools in France, the diploma is for everybody the same time, everybody the same way of presenting, the same way of being judged. I find that horrible. And uh, in my school, the students start one semester and they can, have, they can work three semesters by themselves. So this is by themselves. This is their topic, their research, their project. They can do whatever they want and they, are, they have just to refer to one t person every two weeks. They have to refer and to go to discuss, to make uh, to make evolving and to find their own way of doing their diploma, mm -hmm. whatever. The, the, so sometimes they, this is not a project, an architectural project. This is sometimes uh, the one of the first one at the beginning did um, 3D printing in textile, and she asked me to buy some machine for that, and we do, we did, and um, she was printing a lot a lot of samples, and at the end she built a big 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 uh, wall with this textile. And this is how to, so this is fantastic. They can invent them, their own system and their own process. 
what I like going down in the school, this is as soon as I come in, they have big smiles. Mm -hmm. Students seem to be happy. And I mean, I like that. Mm -hmm. I think it was the construction, following the construction site as my first big building, the Bank Popular de l'Ouest, because I learned myself how to do it at this time. And, and especially the representative of the client was a woman who was really, really hard with me because she was looking at me. Oh, this is a little demoiselle. She, is no. she was a lady, but she was talking to me like that. And, um, and we, we had a very short time to build because we built um, in one year, in 12 months, two buildings, 7,000 square meters at the, in total. It was my first project like that. I invented many processes, many systems like that. And uh, we started with 25 companies, contractors, all clients of the bank. Can you imagine? So she was in the meeting room with all her, her clients, the contractors, and me in front with one guy from my office. And we finished. I was with all the, the contractors, and she was alone. So, but we did a lot, and it was very hard. But it was, I always say that this construction site learned, well, taught me as if I have learned for 10 years. It was really hard, but at the end, I know how to build. It was fantastic. Uh -huh. But, and then, every, okay, there are many things that are not nice, they are, not compli they are complicated, and sometimes I don't sleep, but, but okay, this is life, that's not matter. Yes, and, and looking to the future, there is anything that you want to do? If you ask me what kind of project, I never know. It depends on what happens, what is happening. But, um, no, and because I'm really, I can do, Everything which is interesting or exciting for my mind, I will do it, whatever the size, whatever the country, whatever the place. And um, I don't want to repeat myself, so I don't want to do only housing. I don't want to do only offices building because it's boring. And at the end, you repeat yourself, and I don't like to repeat myself. I prefer to continue to learn for the end, until the end of my life. 